Nancy Sabanti Nathan has been in the civil service for almost 20 years now. She is a qualified administrator and currently serves as the task manager in charge of youth empowerment in the FCTM DG's office. Nancy mixes well in the community. The farmers now see her as their link to government's helping hand, providing vital services. My duty is to mobilize the youth, provide the input, and then uh, supervise the process, supervise the process of the uh, cultivation. Uh, specifically, um, we provide the tractor that plowed this land, you can see it. We provided the seed. We didn't ask any member of the uh, group to provide anything. We bought the seeds. We even bought the seeds and gave them. We provided fertilizer. We provided chemicals that will be sprayed on the farm so that you don't uh, have these weeds. All we are trying to do is to introduce uh, elements of the modern farming uh, to reduce uh, time used in uh, cultivating crops by applying chemicals and uh, improved seedlings so that we will have more yield at the end of the day. The farmers are having a field day because they don't have to worry about a market for their produce. They vigorously package their harvest because all of it has a ready market and will help the FCT administration boost its reserve. The produce from these farms, the agri secretariat have indicated interest to buy more, especially the maize and the guinea corn and uh, millet. But we, this year we have only maize. We have only one community that uh, has um, sorghum. And uh, the Agri Secretariat have indicated interest to buy all these produce from us. So we are trying to dress them so that they will unpack them so that they will come and pack uh, them. There is already a market for them. And for those ones that uh, went into Beni seed production, you said has also indicated interest to buy these things from us. So our farmers are not looking for markets. All that they need to do is to increase production. And they have told us that some of them are saying they are going to change crops. Some of them are going to increase the land uh, size against the 10 hectares that we earlier requested for. Some are asking us if we can, if they provided 20 hectares, if we can cultivate them. And we assure them that definitely we will do that. You see, one of the American farms that deals with benefit said, look, get us all the benefits. Who first got the seeds from them? The improved varieties of seeds from them. And then gave to our farmers. So all the benefit farmers, cooperatives, are pulling up the benefits together. And this company is going to buy to export a 20% higher value than the market. So this is one collaboration. The IITA is trying to, uh, to, to partner with us in giving improved young varieties to the farmers. So in 2011, you see more and more activities coming up. And we have also uh, the Hungarian one, uh, the Hungarian government is uh, trying to have a bilateral discussion with the FCT, particularly in agriculture, and they want it to be community-centric. So it will be community-driven, and then they have ample opportunity to work with these 180 communities that we want to work with in 2011. Apart from setting out on a mission to improve and raise the living standard of poorest rural communities in FCT, the Senator Bala Mohammed-led FCT administration has set the following objectives for the Agriculture Initiative. To promote economic development and revitalize the rural communities using local agricultural resources and creativity. Promote value-adding technology in agro-processing, packaging, and quality control. To facilitate small-scale business skills development in the communities. Build capacity and create awareness. Provide technical and financial support. Ensure organizational and quality management and promote market linkages for domestic and export markets. The program has really, really impacted on the communities. 
you can see before now, like when most of our meetings, they will tell you that they don't come together to take decisions together. But with this program, because it's a collective thing, they come together to take decisions. And um, you can see the joy on their faces. Some of them tell us that they've never felt a government presence. I don't think this community, a tractor, has been here before we came. There was no tractor. We are the first people that brought tractor to them, and that the sight of the tractor is um, something that they were very happy about it. And it has actually united them, and they are willing and ready to work as a group now, not as individuals, because they know that in unity they have more strength and they can raise their voice and cry out, and somebody will hear them than being individual. The important or the benefit of this program